We're back out here at the farm. Jumped right into getting the rest of the disassembly done. We're actually assembling several things as well. We got the farmer and his hired hand helping us today. So that'll go well. They got a few things they're gonna do themselves. Um, we did decide to do uh, stainless seed tubes instead of keeping these since they're pretty corroded and they're having issues with these hoses pulling out. And so that's gonna solve their problems. Should be a good day. Put the uh, washer on the non-disc side so even I had a brain fart and didn't think of it and now I got to redo two rows so that sucks so at least it's only two and I figured it out don't do that don't do what I just did so we're in the uh, belly of the machine this is the rear rank this is the front rank by far the hardest part to work on is right in this area you've got all kinds of things in the way what do you do when you need to get these main pins out or in. Well, what you do is you go from one side into the other. It's that simple. We've already installed the new bushings. So that's here. chattern has been doing that down the row here. I come back through and I'll flip them around. We may have to flip this up higher on this row just to clear. Now I'm gonna just loosely set it up here and let it rest against the bolts right there. Don't want to forget the thrust washer. So since this, the disc is on this side of the row, we're going to want the thrust washer on this side as well. So we won't need to worry about this right away. Let's first get the pin started. So take the new pin, slide it through this mount next to it, and then line up the row. I lift it up with my knee when I'm down here. And then just try to wiggle the row until it lines up enough to, to slide in. The tough part might be holding this washer in place while you try to shove this in. Usually you can get it with your hand if you wiggle it enough. Every once in a while you gotta tap it with a hammer. We're gonna try to hold that washer in place. All right, another trick I have up my sleeve is a pry bar. So if I can't get enough leverage with my hand, I'll just do this. Just keep working it. Sometimes they turn into pains. Oh, come on. Another thing you can do is take a punch. Take any kind of punch that can get through this hole. And then you can transfer the blows of a hammer into the pin through the mount. So let's try that since this isn't working. Probably have to hold the punch from falling out or have a bigger punch. Something is definitely not lined up here. There it goes. This has turned into what not to do. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Come on. There we go. Now I hopefully can tap this into position. Longest row ever. This clamp may have been a little tighter or had some gunk in it. I'm gonna blame it on that. Definitely wasn't skill lack of skill. Now it's in there. So yeah, that easy guys. I'm just putting seat tabs on. So they look like this when we're done. We actually drill a hole about three quarters of an inch down and then it allows for this to not be out so far right away. And as it wears, you can move it down again. Here's an example of what we're talking about. So there's a used boot on the left and a new boot on the right. Got a good amount of tab there even when we lower, drop another hole in there. And maybe after a year or two, you can drop it down again and have a new life. That's what we're after, but these seat tabs are really good. They do a great job. Don't skimp on them. Make sure you replace them when, it's, when they're down to that. Yeah, that looks 
good. Stabilizers are in place, we just need to tighten them. Guys? Guys? I wonder if everyone left me. Did they quit? Go back to Fargo? I think I gotta finish this thing myself. Oh no, I better get on it. We're reusing boot springs because these were just replaced a few years ago. There's no reason to change those. One down. A lot more to go. Look who decided to show up. <laughs> I hope they got their much needed meal in and break. These guys are hard workers. <laughs> So as I tighten up these stabilizers and get the boot good to go, John's coming through and he's putting these discs on. What we're doing to make sure it's aligned correctly is we did a couple tests right away and checked the gap between the boot and the disc. I don't know if you can see that, but the boot is nice and flush against the disc. It's got a nice twang to it. it means the seed tab's in place and working well, and that's key. We're having good consistency there. So what the stabilizer does, as you can see here, I'm tightening up the bolts and it's pushing down against these tabs that are part of this cast arm. We call this the shank. And this is the stabilizer block and that's pulling up on this bolt. So you can see that this is getting tighter now. This is how loose your boot is before you put the stabilizer in. And that's all coming from the slop in these, these holes here. And that's what the stabilizer is so great at solving is that issue. Very important issue to solve. Big impact on your seating quality and ultimately your yield. So this one, see how this bolt's sticking out? Well, this tube will not go in there if we have that sticking out. So very important, don't forget to tap that all the way in before you tighten your stabilizer down. Well guys, the time has come to do the final assembly. We're putting the closing wheel arms on now with the heavy duty closing wheel spring. Look at that, that's nice. You can see there's a new disc, stabilizer, new boot, new seat tab. Looking good. So the guys are continuing on up front with the discs and stabilizers. I'm doing the finishing touches on the closing alarms. The gauge wheels, we're gonna wait because we've got some good, some bad, and he's gonna replace them himself when he gets the chance here. All right, this is the home stretch. As you can tell, the sun's going down. We don't have a whole lot of time, so we gotta get this done because we don't wanna have to come back tomorrow morning. We wanna be able to head home tonight. The guys have been doing good. They're tired, we're tired. All right, let's go. It's golden hour guys, which means we're running out of time. I just got these nuts to tighten. They're finishing up their rolls on discs. Chattern is in the belly of the beast somewhere. Yes, I see a red glove. So we gotta get going. This is gonna be a great machine for a lot of years. He's gonna have excellent performance of these row units. Um, we've got so many good things on here that as long as uh, weather cooperates, he gets moisture, it's gonna be a good thing. It's gonna be a good yield. All right guys, we've had a pretty good successful rebuild, I would say. We knocked this out in two long days. We didn't even get here till 12.30 the first day. And so shout out to these guys. We got Josh, we got John, we got Chadron, and I'm Matt, of course. These guys are, are one of the best. They're such great part of the team here. We like to get out here and get a few of these done and it keeps us sharp as well. If you guys need anything like this, give us a shout and we'll be happy to help you. Maybe we'll show up to your farm and do this too, if you like. Or maybe we'll give you a call 
if you need help, as my grandpa would say. Anyway, God bless. We're out.